pay cuts, job losses and recession. Is the light on one of Europe's last remaining bright spots about to go out? Joining me down the line from Basel to discuss is Martin Eichler. Martin, today's data showed the Swiss trade surplus narrowed to 1.52 billion francs in December. Now, the market turmoil may have quietened as the country acclimatises to the surging franc, but could we see a negative figure as early as the next trade report? Actually, no. We don't think we will see a negative trade account. Actually, not for most of the year, not on the yearly average. Maybe there are individual months where this happens. But that would be quite surprising. Even in the recession in 2009 and also during the Franks appropriation in 2011, we didn't see any negative months. Switzerland's three largest banks still expect the economy to avoid a recession. However, one Bloomberg analyst has found the Alpine nation is more likely to enter recession than Greece. What do you think? Well, currently our forecast is that we will have a slight recession in 2015. But it depends heavily on the exchange rate within your forecast. We have an assumption for the exchange rate of an average exchange rate of a parity to the euro for the whole of 2015. And if that happens, we think we will have a recession with two quarters actually with negative growth rates. Also, it will be only minus 0.2 on the year. Julius Baer has announced as many as 200 job cuts, while the head of the country's economics department recently said pay cuts may also be necessary. Which sectors of the economy will be hurt the most, do you think? Well, of course, the export industries are to feel the most immediate effects. This is the pharmaceutical industry and the investment goods industry, but also in the service sector, tourism and the financial sector. But all of them will be hurt the same way because it depends on on two things. It depends on how much price sensitive your product is. And it also depends on the ratio between your export revenues and your cost base within Switzerland. And if you take that into account, it will be tourism in our point of view, which will be most hurt, followed by the financial sector and by the investment goods industry, while the pharmaceutical industry with their products, which are not that price sensitive, probably will be doing better. The same might go for the luxury goods like watches. In the local market, more on the the local side, it might be the individual trade sector, the shops, which might be hurt due to um, shopping tourism to go abroad. There has been the discussion the SMB has an unofficial corridor of 105 to 110 francs per euro. What do you make of this? And if the pair was to trade at parity, is that where the real trouble could start? And do you think this might happen? Well, that's a very difficult question. I don't know about the SMB corridor internally. They haven't announced anything and it's uh, speculative to think they have an unofficial corridor or something. At least up to for now, it's it's very hard to see what happened there we don't know enough how they react and what they actually do actually we don't know if they went into the market after the 15th of january at all so i I wouldn't uh, go for to discuss such a corridor probably depends very much what happens in europe next including the greece case how much the investors will seek uh, security how if the fear increase again that the euro might break up then probably we will quickly have parity again but it might also turn out otherwise if they find more um, political stable solutions that we actually see something around uh, 1.1 for the franc. And to sum up, Martin, any last words about your outlook for the Swiss economy? We actually think that we will have a recession in 2015. It depends on the exchange rate, how it will develop, but uh, from our current forecast, which is about parity for the whole of 2015, then we will have a recession in 2015 and also lower growth in 2016. But by 2017, actually, depending on the world economy and also on a slightly depreciation of the franc, which we expect then, we will have a a kind of a boom with more than 3% growth. That's at least our forecast at the moment. As I said, it depends heavily how the exchange rate will develop, which we have to watch the next few weeks. Martin, a pleasure to speak to you today. Thank you for your insights. Well, that's all from me for the moment. The team will be keeping you up to date with all the latest currency movements, so please do stick with us here at Ducascopi TV. Goodbye for now.